rather like to be flexible at our right. Try to keep your hands a bit quieter when you ask them to do something and just think about using the leg in the seat. And if he feels good, just do it even this way. That's for a little positioning, but if he goes to fall out, keep the outside leg on him, up by the shoulder. Just waves it in the set a little bit. It's still a little bit tense. Again, override the inside edge if you have to. Yeah, yeah, just keep it there and let him figure it out. Let him figure it out. Good. And it always goes back to there. Yeah, yeah. Creating that thinking horse. He's always thinking about what you're wanting to do rather than trying to figure out what you're wanting by moving something. There you go. Super. Good. Keep a little right leg into left rein there. Just keep picking the left side right up. Now counter flex him a little bit. slow down and able to think. So they're bred to just, their feet is going fast and the brain's going to catch up. So let's slow the feet down so the brain can stay calm. There you go. Keep a little outside right there. What he's doing, he's pushing on that outside lane and just tilting. Good. 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 And then you just look up and go straight and let your fist and follow your eyes. There it is. Good. Yeah, I don't care if he's a little bit counterflexed right now. I want him actually falling in on that right shoulder a little bit. And just open the inside rein. There. Good. Good. And that got longer there. Very nice. Go to the buckling heading. 